The Taiwan Declaration on the Integration of Oral and General Health was launched in 2019. It was a milestone in global health, making integration a reality. The declaration called for recognition of six key facts about oral health, highlighting the shared risk factors of poor oral and general health and the mutual benefits of integration. The declaration also included six priority action areas to facilitate integration. For example, applying a health and oral health in all policies approach. Three short-term activities were proposed. Advocacy, thought leadership and fostering tailored implementation. These activities have stimulated a number of countries to develop interventions to integrate oral health into general health. Dr. Shu Ti Chiu's numerous projects have highlighted how funding from the Taiwanese SIN tax from cigarette sales can be used to cover the costs of this integration. The Taiwan Declaration on the Integration of Oral and General Health is an excellent working example of a national strategy to embed health and oral health in all policies to promote good oral and general health. Dr. Bruce Donoff, a pioneer of the integration of dental and oral health in the USA, states that the combined teaching of dental and medical students is significantly effective in the integration of oral health into general health care. Dr. Donoff highlights the importance of the Lancet series titled Oral Health, which pointed to integration as a solution to the global oral health crisis. Research by Professor Mahesh Verma shows that diabetes, cardiovascular disease and poor oral health are the leading causes of mortality in India and integrating oral and general health could achieve improvements in non-communicable disease rates. Dr. Mengistu Asnaki's work highlighted that multitasking and transferable skills are essential in low-income countries. His research shows that this is often the only solution in rural areas due to limited resources and low workforce numbers. This is demonstrated in the Community Health Extension Programme in Ethiopia, which is a great case study for how political action and community engagement can aid in the integration of dental care into general health care in a low-income country. Based on the feasibility of the interventions across the world, Dr. Borish advocated for a new dialogue between global agencies and governments to make sure integration became a reality everywhere. She highlighted how it could empower overall health promotion prevent the increase of oral diseases and boost health equity. It's not only advisable, but is critical. And it's important for everyone.